Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a synth DIY guy. In this channel, we build synthesizers and explore music and sound design with modulars and new technologies. So if you're into that sort of thing, please hit like and subscribe. Today we're building a very solid and accurate 4-voice MIDI to CV converter by Magella. The MTCVC takes a no-frills approach with no menus, no screens and just two settings, polyphonic and quad mono. It has a very solid MIDI DIN input and nice nylon output jacks for four channels of pitch CV gate and velocity, as well as global outs for pitch bend, modulation wheel, CC71, CC74 and MIDI clock. And building it is very easy since all of the SMD components come pre-soldered. All you need to solder is one IC, a few capacitors and the hardware components, which come included in the full kit box, along with some nice Dutch candy and a few stickers. Everything comes neatly organized in baggies. The brushed aluminum panel has a peel-off scratch protector and the black PCB has pleated through holes and all of the SMD soldered for you at the factory. Magella were kind enough to also send along another of their VVCA dual velocity VCAs to pair with my previous one for a total of four voices, making a perfect set with the MTCVC. Before building, I like to organize all the parts neatly on my work surface. Now once my iron was hot, I started with the lone IC socket. I propped up the board with the power header so the socket would stay flush on the board and soldered one pin from above to hold it in place since I noticed this machine socket stuck out just enough to get the iron tip in there without damaging it. Then I turned it around to solder the remaining terminals. Next I placed all of the nice red Wima caps in their places. and use my laminated rings cheat sheet to hold them in place as I turn the board around to solder them on, thus avoiding having to carefully bend each cap leg outward from the bottom of the board. The pads for these caps are very small, so be sure to use a nice pointy conical tip. Mine was broken and it took a lot longer to get this done as a consequence. After clipping the cap leads, I snapped the IC onto its socket and installed the two headers that go on the back, making sure the notch on each header matched the drawing on the silk screen. Again placing some pliers under the board on the opposite end to keep it level, I soldered on the headers, opposing pins on each header first to hold them in place, then the rest. Next came the trim pot. Once I'd soldered it on and trimmed the leads, I fastened on the metal hex spacers for the panel around the MIDI DIN connector. Finally I started plugging in the jacks, followed by the switch and the LEDs, minding their correct polarity. Then I carefully fit the panel on and tightened the nuts to keep it all together. I used some masking tape over the LED hose to make sure they would sit flush. I used a little bit on the switch as well, as it was quite loose. Then I pushed the LEDs through and started to solder everything up.
after trimming the LED leads, I pulled off the masking tape and proceeded to install the MIDI connector. I used the same piece of masking tape from before to hold it on snugly before soldering. Finally I tightened the screws that hold the panel to the spacers. I still needed to finish tightening the jack nuts though and I didn't have the right size tool for these. So I fitted some pliers with heat shrink tubing to keep from scratching the panel and used them to tighten the nuts. For once in my life I actually decided to clean the PCB using isopropyl alcohol and an old toothbrush. Turned out okay. Calibrating was easy. First you trim a test point to 10.6 volts as a starting point. Then use a MIDI keyboard in your multimeter to fine tune the volt per octave response. Now let's have some fun with this bad boy. Okay, so I've plugged the out one, MIDI out one from my Keystep Pro over here to the MIDI to CV converter by Magella. And I have my two VVCAs right next to it and it looks like one big module with uh, four channels of MIDI to CV and four channels of Velocity VCAs. It's a really nice set there. You can even get the envelope generators from them too and everything looks very aesthetic together. Anyway, let's patch it up. So first I will take some cables here and plug the uh, gate outputs into four channels of my ornament and crime, which I'll use in peaked mode. So I have four envelope generators right there. Then I'll plug the four velocity outputs in order to the four velocity inputs in my VVCA. set of four here. Next I will plug the outputs of my ornament and crime into the CV inputs my four envelope four VCAs here again. Now the four outputs of the VCAs will go into four channels of the hex mix mixer. And what's nice about doing polyphonic this way is that you can actually pan the voices and create a stereo spread with them. And it's very straightforward and intuitive way to patch. So now I need to choose four VCOs, right? So the first one will be my first even VCO right here, and both we'll of the input. And the second one will be my second even VCO. The third one will be Henry Wilson MFOS over here. And the Electrosmith 3340. Old product input. Right, let's see if this works.
<laughs> hey, why don't I uh, do something s sort of paraphonic? So what I can do is mix these, turn them off here. I turn them on into pre-fader listen. I'll take the headphone output into a mixer. Both splats as an amplifier. output of the MIDI to CV converter to the cutoff right here. A little bit of resonance. Cool. This is it for now, if you like this content, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and maybe even pitch in on my Patreon. Deluxe Patrons get their names on this list, as well as access to the WAVE audio files for this and every other demo I do. See you soon, and stay noisy. Thank you.